Hello everyone, thank you for joining Remote Sensing and GIS question and answer session series. In today's question, we'll see how to prepare an urban heat island effect. So what is urban heat island effect? It's a phenomena where the urban areas are significantly warmer than their surrounding rural areas due to human activities. This urban heat island effect is caused due to a number of factors, including the large amount of heat generated by buildings, then transportation systems and other human activities, as well as the absence of vegetation and presence of heat absorbing surfaces such as concrete and asphalt. So this is the formula to calculate the UHI. So this is the TS is this land surface temperature and TM is the mean of the land surface temperature and SD is the standard deviation. So we'll use this formula to calculate. I will also provide the link in the description box where you can able to access the paper. And now let's will calculate this, how you can able to calculate. So this is the land surface temperature. I have already calculated. If you're interested, I have already uploaded a video how to create a land surface temperature. And if you're interested using the QGS also, so there also I have uploaded one video. So this is the automatic extraction of land surface temperature. So you can just visit our channel because got a more channel, you will get these videos here. So after that, you just need to come here and we have a formula, okay? So land surface temperature and this is the formula there, okay? Land surface temperature. So TM and SD we want, okay? So land surface temperature we already prepared. So for that, just need to go to right click and go to properties. So here you will see in the sources, you'll get the information about the standard deviation and mean, okay? So this is the mean and this is the standard deviation. So just copy this mean and paste it here, okay? And just copy the standard deviation and we can paste it here, the standard deviation. So I, already, so I have already added here. So now just need to go to special analysis tool, then map algebra and there is a raster calculator, okay? Raster calculator. So LST minus so just copy this TM and divided by standard deviation. So you can provide your output location where you want to save. I will just go by default and I will just click on OK. So my map is prepared here. OK, so you can provide the color like you want so after this what we can able to do we can create a stack profile here okay so i'm interested to create a profile for this so for that what you can able to do you just need to create a one shape file here just select any folder right click and new okay new and shape file so you just need to select your desired location where you want to create a folder just right click new and shape file and just provide here name like uh, profile then select a polyline and go to edit and this is the 43 UTM zone so I'll select a 43 UTM zone and just click on ok. So now after creating a shape file okay we just need to go to editor start editing and take this create a feature and we need to draw a profile okay so like you can draw a profile like this then click on the save it and stop it then just need to go to arc toolbox or you can just go to search here and just select a stack profile okay just click on the stack profile and you can add this profile here then this Target is my, this is my target, profile target and just provide your look, name here. So I'll provide UHI stack and just click on OK. So this way you will get the profile. So actually this is the land surface temperature versus distance okay so this is the distance versus you will get the land surface temperature at that place you can also check the attribute table here the information is given there 
So this way very easily you can prepare this. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment sections. Thank you. Thank you.